<laughs> this deserves to be cut out. <laughs> I'm gonna look. Hey guys, this is Betty from Switch and Click. And in this video, we're gonna react to some of our older videos that are on the channel. And let me tell you, they were bad. Like they were really, really bad. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna pick some random videos out of the mix and we'll see. We'll see how it goes. This channel has been a really long way. It's been a long way to get to this point, but I've not had the courage to look back at any of those older videos. I know we've improved a lot, but Oh, some of them, they were not good. They were so cringeworthy. Taking a lot of advice from all you guys to really improve the channel. Got a microphone, same camera, of course. Better use of the camera, a lot of improvements here and there. But let's hop into our first video, shall we? Ooh, first video I've ever made. Master up control, can't go keyboard review. I'm gonna jump around here and there because obviously I know what I said. So here we go. Uh, welcome to the Switch and Click, a YouTube channel on mechanical keyboards. Oh, well, I don't like this. There we go. <laughs> so that was one of the downsides of this keyboard, which we'll talk about soon enough. All right, I'm pretty sure back in the old days, like this was a one take. Like I didn't edit anything out. I, I didn't even put it into an editor. I just straight up was like camera, YouTube, that's it, I'm done, back off, stay away. What you saw here was an example of that. And look at my desk. What was wrong with my desk? That was, ugh, I was using textbooks as monitor stands because, well, uh, cheapos like that. So, you know, nothing's changed. I have a monitor arm now, so a few things changed, but that sweater says I love coffee. Bought that the same time I got this sweater that says weekend, both at Target. So bad, so bad. So an overview, this is the Mass Drop Control Mechanical Keyboard that came out in late 2018. Um, you can find a link to this product on the blog post, which Yeah, yeah, so before I even review the keyboard, I was like, link it down below, gotta make some money, right? <sighs> I was so bad at talking on camera. Look at that glorious wrist rest upside down. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> we'll link down below. It is a 10 keyless keyboard, which means that it's missing the number pad and all associated keys in this area. But we do have <laughs> like the home, the that end, camera work though, like that as well. Um, they also have a 60% version called the Mass Drop Alt, and they have a high profile version, which is where this part goes higher up, and you can't really see the lighting as well. Oh, okay, I, so, so I can't watch this. I can tell. I'm looking at my notes that are straight on the monitor right there. Like I wrote down some notes or something. I might have written it on a piece of paper, but I'm clearly looking at the notes and then being like, okay, let's talk about the product. Oh, let's look about the notes again. Let's talk about the product. I can't watch this anymore. Let's go to one where my head is actually in the shot. Ah, uh, back when Jake was on the channel. Okay, how to type faster. I mean, will a mechanical keyboard help? All right, so before we continue, I want to preface this that we started our website first at switchandclick.com. That came first and the YouTube was meant to be a supplement to the website, which is why we've got these insanely bad thumbnail graphics here. Made these on Canva and uh, they just like were at the top of our website for each page. It's also why we don't have B-roll or any of that fancy stuff because we were just summarizing our website post and that was it. So this is one of the posts that I wrote and I don't know if any of these posts exist anymore because they've been heavily edited throughout this entire year because I was a really bad writer back then. Let's see. Ooh, welcome back to the switch and click and today we'll be talking about how to type faster. So many of you probably already type pretty fast so this might not be relevant to you. If it is there's an accompanying blog post down below that we'll link to on our blog switchandclick.com um, but first we're just gonna Ask the question, what kinds of things do you need to know to dive faster? Like if I were to tell my dad. <laughs> I literally couldn't look at the lens back then. It was just so awkward. Welcome to the switch and click. I think now it's like, this is Betty from switch and click. Things have changed. There's a lot of things wrong with my desk going on over here. Got whatever windows open, Spotify, my cat wallpaper my Vaseline for my dry hand, post-it notes everywhere. 
maybe some of these resources, will he stop hunting and pecking for keys or does that matter? <laughs> so the answer is that we looked at some research and read a lot of things and it doesn't matter what style you use to type. Um, as long as you have good posture, you're not hurting yourself, you're using the right keyboard for your size, and you're using techniques that would be beneficial for you. Um, that's it. Maybe you can type <laughs> fast. And that's it. You know, one of the funny things here is that my eyes are pretty dark, right? So you can't even really tell where I'm looking at or anything. And I'm pretty sure back in the day, okay, I have my camera on my tripod. I took a piece of paper and I like put it right under the camera and then snap my camera back onto my tripod. So I'm like up and down and up and down because that paper is there with the notes just to remind me what I'm, what I'm doing, what I'm looking at. And that's what I'm doing. That's clearly what I'm doing. Another important thing is knowing where the keys are on the keyboard. That's super important too. Um, if you are constantly looking down and looking at the screen <laughs> Why are there clicky keyboard noises behind me? <laughs> and looking down and looking at the screen is pretty slow no matter how fast your hands move So we looked up some Stop. research and the research concluded that whether you use five fingers or ten fingers you can be just as fast I'm as the other person. Sure you don't I necessarily need to this. take a class like, to be a fast I typist. I just said that. Um, touch typing isn't like the holy grail of typing, although not looking at your keyboard is beneficial. I personally don't use the home row keys and we'll talk. I'm like super, uh, what do you call it? Pretty, uh, what do you call it when someone's like, I've got attitude here, clearly. I touch type now. Things have changed. I didn't touch type before. I touch type now. Who even watched this video? So we'll talk about that later. And they also concluded some other things. I'm gonna look. <laughs> <laughs> this deserves to be cut out. <laughs> I'm gonna look. I'm just gonna look at my notes. Okay, they concluded that Oops. both hands are moving separately while you're typing and they're not necessarily symmetrical even if you're typing yeah. like the same letter in the same area. So let's move on to uh, touch typing. So what is touch typing? So touch typing means that you're typing but you're not looking at the keyboard while you're typing. But it also includes that you're using home row keys. So home row keys are when your left hand is on ASDF and your right hand is on JKL colon or semicolon depending on what what it is if you're pressing shift or not but and <laughs> then so thumbs smart. on the space bar and then um, if you don't look at your keyboard and you don't use home row keys then you're a hybrid typist so not necessarily a touch typist um, let's see what else <laughs> yep back to the notes just just yeah, you know, just don't cut. Don't cut anything. I'm pretty sure I was using the audio directly from the camera too. It's bad. It's really bad. Just just look at your notes. Just 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 do that. Oh, there there I am. Okay, yeah. so what can make you type faster? There are a few things, some of which you probably already know. One of which is make sure the temperature is not too cold and your fingers aren't stiff and freezing. That happens so to type me. in a warm environment or do some hand warm up or run in place or something until you're warm. Uh, I can't stand Another thing that which people probably talk a lot is about it's ergonomics, so, so your posture. All right, how, how did I end straight, the video? Elbows. And that's it. So yeah, in summary, have really good posture, have a tactile or a clicky keyboard, Make sure your fingers are warm and practice a ton. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. That wasn't bad. To be honest, I wouldn't watch that and 100, you know, 567 people did watch that and I've got a lot of thumbs up there, but that wasn't bad. I wasn't bad on camera. I would say I was pretty decent on camera. Our first mechanical keyboard review on the channel and this was when we figured out that reviews did pretty good. Yeah. We started reviewing other things too and like I started showing more weird- oh god, don't, don't, don't look at that. That's a bad one. Really, don't look at that one. Our first review. Hey guys, welcome back to the Switch and Click and today we'll be talking about the Diaria X Keymove DK61 Why keyboard. Why so bad? It's a 60% keyboard with 61 so keys as you can tell in the name. This is the packaging right here, so Why it's pretty it deodorant. Um, it's table. super small compared to like full-size keyboards and 10 keyless keyboards. 
So this is my first time using a 60% keyboard and let me tell you, it was pretty difficult, but it's not the keyboard's There's fault. There's so much background So noise. inside the box, we have the keyboard. Always what's in start here? with what's in we the box. We have a manual that tells you like the different colorways, the different button combinations, things like that. We have two, two different replacement switches. Dang. I got a brown and a red and we also have the usb cable and it has a right the iso angle. here is like usb-c connector as you up. can see it's here so grainy. and there's one so, more thing so in here i learned two more I actually like the switch puller right now, so and it's not as grainy the keycap puller nice nice my is right that there, hot, is this keyboard hot swappable? Typical. Did I even say that? It's hot okay, swappable. Okay, so let's move on to the keyboard. Do I start unplug the back? right now so there's no the RGB lighting, but this is it. This is how small it is compared to like my hand. Yeah. You can hold it with one hand. It's pretty small. Amen. The case is entirely made Same out of rings, ABS though. plastic. Um, I believe the keys are made out of double shot PPT, but let me know? make sure that's right. Let's look at that. Let's look yeah, at the so sales the, page. the key caps are made out of double shot PBT plastic, um, and they're really smooth with slight texturing, so if you're into that, maybe that's for you. If you're into that. Um, let's see. And the circuit board is supposed to be waterproof. They average... All right, that's, that's like, oh, okay. Wait, what, what Keyboards. Happened? So let's plug this bad boy in. Oh. This is the kind of stuff you should cut out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that post-it note pile though. It's got some, got some And problems. I'm not using... Oh, wait, 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 wait. You see that on the back here? I'm pretty sure that's my review on our website. And that's my review on a Word document. I'm not using the USB cable that it came in with because I'm just not interested um, in going back down there to my PC and Still disconnecting not. it. Also, the cable, I believe, is not long enough for my desk setup. So I was just using my master up one instead. So let's talk about the typing. I got these with the Gateron optical blunt. brown switches, which are my favorite. Um, the linear, no, the tactile feel is really <laughs> great. They're really Gateron optical browns are my favorite tactical feel. So good. Light so good. compared to my control uh, Halo clears, and I type. I, I can type. I think I type faster on these because they're lighter to press on. Um, but I do have two complaints. The first one was that the cable isn't long enough, and the second one is this shift key <laughs> compared to the left shift key. And like right now, I would say these stabilizers are really bad. Like they sound really bad. They're really loud. And uh, yeah, that's just what it is. Right shift key. So there's something about that right shift key that's just, it's different, it's loud, and it like snaps back in a way that really oh. annoys me. Oh. And the space bar, the stabilizers are pretty wobbly. Okay, but perfect. let's do. Good thing. Good thing I oh, do. well, let me show you the RGB lighting effects. So we'll do control and then right bracket. You can do this one and then you can also speed it up okay. somehow. We're moving on, we're moving on. The second function layer is- Where's the typing test though? With the colors. Oh yeah, handheld, <coughs> A roll. And this the, oh, typing test. Yeah. So fast. This, the framing is just so bad, but check it out. Same hydroplast. Same headset as what's on the screen. Some things never change. 132. Ooh. Gotta show off my WPM. I don't do that anymore, I don't care. All right, 
outro. It's pretty darn amazing. Um, other than that, I have absolutely no other complaints about this keyboard. It comes in at $50 right now on Amazon. It's awesome. Check out the associated blog post that I'll link down below. Press that like button, subscribe if you want to, and leave a comment if you have. It was not bad. It's not bad. It's hard to watch it because the whole thing is just so grainy. Camera work is so bad. I had a tripod. Why didn't I just put it on? Well, I did put it on the tripod, but it could have been better. I can't handle this. Oh, this was a good one. I actually started adding B-roll somewhere along the line. So I think this one was the first one I ever added any kind of B-roll and I did editing. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to Why Am I So Yellow? Why am I so yellow? The channel, this is Switch and Click, and today we'll be talking about the top five mis- Remember when did all the videos in the bedroom, that behind me is a clothing drying rack that we like clothespin clothes onto and let things dry. Dakes you can make while you're modding your stabilizers, which means clipping, lubing, and band-aid modding. Dang. So we did this today. This is my drop control keyboard. The only and keyboard we modded I had, basically. It today. And uh, let me tell you, I made all five mistakes. This is what they sound right now. It's not bad. Okay. Some The space bar needs help. So they all sound really good. Except that. The space bar is still a little bit loud, but that's okay. It's totally fine. Let's get to it. So it's number not fine. I was one. Lying. It's not fine. <gasps> Make sure you know what I added text. That oh, good job. What stabilizers you will be working with? Good job. Me. Prior to taking apart your entire keyboard. For example, before we modded this, we tried modding our Razer um, Black Widow CoStar stabilizers. And we have no idea how to work with that. Throw it we on only knew how to work with cherry style stabilizers, um, which is what we've been looking at on YouTube, on to guides, on tutorials, on the Reddit. B -roll. And then when we saw the CoStar ones, we're just like, what do we do with this? Oh, so man. we closed it back up My and then went to this keyboard. Really so that's good. number one. Make sure just you know what stabilizers you're really working good. with. You can look that up on Google. You can look that up on like the product page. You can email the manufacturer. You can look on Reddit. There are a ton of different websites. Where I made a cut. I made a cut. I'm pretty sure I cut out um. I probably said um because I was cutting that out a lot. You can find out this information. And then once you know that, look up guides pertaining to how to mod that specific stabilizer type. The most common ones are cherry stabilizers. Then after that are the coaster oh, ones. So with the coaster cut. ones, you can lube them and you, yeah, you can lube them and you can band-aid mod them, but it's like a different band-aid mod, not the same way where you put a band-aid on All the right, PCB. We're, to, we're moving on. Um, dampen the sound of the stem touching the PCB doesn't even when match. you press the key. This B-roll doesn't even match what I'm doing. I'm pretty sure I was talking about like unscrewing what am I doing? Stabilizer you're working with and know how to mod that stabilizer. So number two, make sure you know. That font is really good though. All right, B-roll, 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 good stuff, good stuff. Your switch is in a certain place. This is pretty Don't good Don't mix stuff. them up. And then last, number five. Number five. Make sure you test every part before putting it all back together. I made this mistake as well. I've made all of these mistakes actually. I still do. So I put it all back together. And I still do. How to Moss Stabilizer Guide came out like a week ago. I still make mistakes. And bam, left shift doesn't work. So Look what do we jammies. do? We take it all up. Look at these jammies. Pop it. LL Bean jammies. Part and do it again. So what I should have done my socks. Ooh, is feet. without mounting every switch and every keycap so and much stuff. Feet. See, nowadays, like I know, you could just pop out these stabilizers. You don't have to take any of this stuff out. Well, so many mistakes. Don't listen so to me. So this is your first time. Don't worry if it takes you a long time. If it's hard or if it's frustrating, you'll get better at it. Damn, I was motivating. I mean, dang, I was motivating. I'm sure I will. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And if this video helped you, let me know in the comments below. Let me know. Let me know. 
don't listen. I can't believe how many people watch this. I hope they didn't take out all their switches and then to lube their stabilizers and then be like, oops. Oh, it got better. The talking's good. The text is good. Check out these thumbnails. They are... They are really good. This thumbnail is probably my favorite. This video also gets the most hate. Watch that one next. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is switching. Ooh, did you hear that? I switched to like a new mic. There's a new microphone here and that's why you don't hear all these extra sounds. Uh, though the volume is really low. To lubricate to your mechanical keyboard switches. Well, first of all, let's talk about why you should lube the switches. So lubing the housing, the stem, and the springs. I have a straight up notebook in my hand. Increase surface friction. Yeah. Especially when they glide against each other, causing that movement to be much smoother. And give your linear switches and your tactile switches a more buttery feel when you press on them. All right. On all I can't handle switches, this. But you have to be careful. I'm just straight up reading my so my post. You're comparing honey. The water honey has a higher viscosity is there so any b -roll? in terms of viscosity it's graded am by i numbers. just reading so the lower the number the less viscous it is the community member travis's crytox and travis i literally read my article hey guys welcome back to the channel this is betty from switch and click and today we've got another mechanical keyboard review for you guys in this video we'll be reviewing the kinesis freestyle pro ergonomic split keyboard we also have the associated blog post down below so make sure when you check this? that for a this much more in-depth review this will be a January brief 30th. once a over month. of month the keyboard and how i feel about it so thing. i've been typing with the kinesis freestyle Pro for about 10 hours and my first impression so far is that I'm not a fan. So they do have a 60 day guarantee and unfortunately I will be returning it. I had really high hopes for this keyboard to be honest. I have really wanted an ergonomic mechanical keyboard These ever since I like wrote my first article point. talking about ergonomics and ergonomic mechanical keyboards and learning all the different properties that makes and mechanical keyboard ergonomic and this keyboard was one on that list that was all a right, pretty right. high Making contender that i there's that connection to the usb cable that connects to your computer it doesn't come off it's I'm pretty, pretty sure long it's about six feet long and then there's also these tabs into palm support so we take that push it in there's a lot of cuts yes. here. All right, so that was a pretty quick installation. They have different angle setups that you can use. You can use the high, highest angle or the lower, shorter angle. So this one is 15 degrees and this is 10 degrees. Oh. And those are our only two oh. options. Okay, so what do I think of the keyboard after typing on it for about 10 hours? My personal experience is that due to my small hands and the way that I type, the fact that I don't type on the home row keys, but it's just type too- on. I didn't touch type yet. I didn't touch type yet. This video got a lot of hate, I gotta say. A I mean, they're adjustable, hate. but the gaming version is the exact same as this. So if you're thinking of buying either one, they do have that guarantee. So go out there and try it and see if it helps you. I'm just telling you guys all the pain and the discomfort that I went through. My husband tried it for about an hour and he had almost no complaints with it except for the fact that it was split and that took a while for him to get used to. Now he does uh, touch type. And by the way, if you like this video so far, please <laughs> press that like button. That we really appreciate it. Plug. And we also really appreciate you for being here. Yeah. If you want more Thank videos you. like this, such as keyboard reviews, how-to videos, or just compilations of information that we've been doing research on, please press that subscribe button because we're going to make more. Also, if you have any suggestions, feel free to put them in the comments down below. We would love some advice on how to improve Ooh. our videos. Anyways, back asking for advice real early on but yeah i'm pretty sure every is like this is all opinion or this is all experience or whatever and it's like this is still what the channel is all about it's still experience 
and just opinions everywhere. We didn't have any of these keyboards that we were talking about back then. Mistakes, mistakes. This video may be not like being on YouTube for a pretty long time because I was getting a lot of black, I guess, for being like, oh, ANSI superior. But now I know it doesn't really matter. You can do whatever the heck you want. And then we got on our budget review craze and things started popping off right there. Popping off. All this was like crazy, crazy, crazy. After this video, we decided I'm better on YouTube. Jake's way better at writing and things improved. Like things got better and better and better and bought a ton of product, a lot, a lot, a lot of products. And I mean, this is just how it's happened so fast that I don't really even remember Remember, I thought this video was really good. I was filming this. There's b-roll really good and it's got a lot of but compare that to where we are now There's a huge difference. I thought this video was really good This was when my videos started getting really long because I got super thorough with them And then now we're at a point where the thumbnails are really good. The film is much better The talking is a lot better. We've got a lot of plans this year coming in 2021 So I hope you stick around watch the videos. I know some of you don't even like keyboards or in the purchasing realm and that's fine i still appreciate you for watching and i really love your comments that you're like i don't like this keyboard but i'm just here to watch you i appreciate that i really do we'll see where we go this year i'm really excited like really 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 excited i've got really big plans and really improving my skill set doing this doing video stuff audio stuff all that good stuff we also are expanding our team a little bit so things are going to change for the better I appreciate you for being here and if you want to, I really hope you don't, you can check out some of those older videos and be like, ooh, she was not good. There was a time here that I really uh, was not good and that was where my face takes up like 90% of the frame on the camera. <sighs> I would say that was a period where uh, things were a little bit iffy and then I learned framing and then I learned color grading and I learned lighting and audio and you know we're gaining props here and there so things are getting better it's gonna change I just want to say that we're sort of going our own way here at switch and click don't expect me to be like the other people because they're so good at what they do I obviously like am not gonna catch up to them so I'm gonna get good at what I do and venture into my own path over here somewhere where they can be at the top of their game over there and we'll all be uh winners in this space stick around it's 2021 thank you for staying with us a whole year on youtube really crazy i appreciate you guys i'm sure you're already subscribed if you're watching this and if not press that subscribe button because better things are coming i'll see you in the next one Bye.